Hi everyone, Pastor Rachel here. Welcome back to my channel where we spend a few moments investing in ourselves, investing in community, and investing in God through acts of prayer, devotion, and reflection. Today I was craving some scripture. So I grabbed my Bible and started flipping through it and stumbled upon a, a verse that is not only tabbed but also highlighted. It's Psalm 139. And this Psalm instantly transported me back into my missionary training days many, many years ago. We had a spiritual director that would use this psalm, Psalm 139, and she would use it for inward reflection and for us to hear God through scripture multiple times throughout our three-week training. This was the verse that she would turn to, and I have very vivid memories of feeling God move and swirl in my soul while she read this chapter. And I thought that we would do something similar to the practice we did while I was in training. It's an essence of Lectio Divina where it's a practice you read scripture, a scripture, multiple times and each time you're given a prompt or a thought to help deepen your inward reflection. And so we're going to do that today. I will be reading Psalm 139 verses 1 through 14 three times. And each time I will give you a prompt or a question and at the end of each reading a moment of silence for you to not only answer the question or the prompt, but to sit in the word. I'm really excited to do this with all of you because though I have read this passage many, many times, God is always speaking new things into the words, and God is always speaking new things into my heart. And so if you are someone who reflects better with a pen and paper, please grab a pen and paper. If you're someone who reflects best with your eyes shut and just the very being of your body, then do that. However you need to reflect and hear God, do that. So I invite you to be in a meditative and reflective state as we go through our first reading of Psalm 139, 1 through 14. And the prompt for this reading is to hear a word or a phrase that captures your attention. Hear these words. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all of my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O oh Lord, you know it all together. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me, for such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. Where shall I go from your spirit, or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make a bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me and the light about me be night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is bright as the day, for darkness is as light with you. For you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. What word or phrase captured your attention? For our second reading of Psalm 139, 
the question I'd like for you to think about is, who is God to you? Who is God to you? So hear these words. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O oh Lord, you know it all together. You hem me in, behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. Where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? For if I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make a bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me and the light about me be night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is bright as the day, for darkness is as light with you. You formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. Who is God to you? For our third reading, I am asking this question, what does God invite you to do, be, or change through this passage? What does God invite you to do, be, or change through this passage? Hear these words from Psalm 139 verses 1 through 14. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O oh Lord, you know it all together. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high and I cannot attain it. Where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea. Even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me and the light about me be night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is bright as day, for darkness is as light with you. For you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. And I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. What is God inviting you to do, be, or change? through this text.
as we come out of this space of hearing your word, O God, and as we come out of this space of personal reflection, we pray that it doesn't stop here. We pray that your words and your movement and your ability to be with us and journey with us doesn't stop here. With all that is going on in the world, coming back to one of our foundations, coming back to scripture, leaning upon your word is so important for a sense of stability. And so we thank you, O God, for the opportunity to dwell in your word and to be reminded that you know us, that you've made us, that you journey with us from the very beginning. We give thanks this day, O gracious and wonderful God. Amen. Friends, may we go in peace and may we go knowing that we are loved and fearfully and wonderfully made, that there is nothing that can separate us from the God who searches us and knows our heart. May we go with the grace of God this day as we move and breathe and acknowledge God's presence in our lives. Go in peace. And I will see you tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Many blessings. Mm -hmm.